In this video I'll be explaining the ignition system and how the firing occurs for each of the different cylinders, uh, the timing of the spark plugs. So to start off the ignition system you're going to have your battery which is going to send a voltage to your ignition coil. Now your ignition coil is just a system of two coils and you have a primary coil which is taking in the voltage and it's going to pass that current to a secondary coil. Now the secondary coil is going to have more coils and it's going to be uh, at a higher voltage and then it's going to send this higher voltage from the ignition coil to the distributor. <clears throat> now the distributor is what distributes the uh, voltage to each of the cylinders to each of the spark plugs. So you're going to have a high voltage coming in and you're going to have this rotor here that's going to be spinning around. Now in this rotor there's contact points uh, every 90 degrees. This is for a four cylinder, four stroke engine. So every 90 degrees you're going to have a contact point and when the rotor is coming into contact with this contact point it's going to pass that voltage across to the spark plug and then it'll fire. So one thing to note is that they're not actually in contact, they're just going to be very close and then you're going to have a spark pass between the two. Um, and so it'll just rotate around and then pass that spark which will send the voltage to each of these spark plugs. Now the order of the firing is pretty important. So in a four stroke engine you've got your four strokes. You've got intake where you pull in the air, compression, you compress the air fuel ratio or the air fuel, and then power where you set a spark in there and it uh, expands and pushes down the piston and then exhaust where you force back out that wasted air, or the used up air. So when you, let's say we start with our first cylinder here and so the distributor cap is going to send the voltage to the current to the first spark plug which is going to be in the power stroke. Okay so then it's going to move to the third uh, cylinder. Now the third cylinder is going to be in compression when it's right here, when the distributor, when the rotor is right here, and then as it rotates to here, that compression, that cylinder, uh, the piston is going to move up, and it'll be at three now, and then three will be at a power stroke. So you can see that transfers there. Now after three, we, for uh, most inline four cylinders, you're going to have a firing order of one, three, four, two and that's so that they're balanced. Um, as you can see, you've got these two pistons on, on the outside at the upper and the two pistons on the inside at the lower position. So these will move uh, together and so the engine will always be balanced. So as this rotates around, you've got one, three, four, two. And so each of these, uh, three will be one step behind one, four will be two steps behind one, and two will be three steps behind one. So we'll have the first cylinder will be in power, the second will be in exhaust, the third will be in compression, and the fourth will be in intake. And that's so it's all balanced. And as this rotates around, it will fire the different cylinders. And so keep in mind, from this rotating, for example, from here to here, that'll be a 180 degree change. So four will have gone down, it will have done the intake, it will have done the compression, and then the spark will send it uh, and you'll have the spark and light the air fuel mixture and then you'll have your power stroke. So I figured I'd show you guys what this looks like on my car. Um, I've got an Acura Integra here, it's an inline four. So we're gonna look at the spark plugs. Um, so we've got them coming in here on the top. So here's your first one and remember we said the firing order was one, three, four, two. So we're gonna trace this back to the distributor. So here's your one so then after that you're going to have this one firing so this should be three so we'll fo follow this wire here and it goes to three all right after three we're going to go to this one this should be four so we'll follow that and as you can see that goes to the fourth and finally we'll be end up here and that should be two and we follow this wire it's going to go right here so that's going to be one, three, four, two, uh, just like I was saying for the balance of the engine. And here's another look at that distributor. 
Now on modern cars you can have distributorless engines and so with these they'll have a separate ignition coil for every single spark plug. It'll actually be on the spark plug and what this allows you to do is have your electronic control unit, your ECU, uh, specifically time each spark plug. So the advantages of this is that you get rid of your distributor, you get rid of your high voltage wires, and you have precise tunable timing. And so you can achieve greater efficiencies and more power.